Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We made it. This is good. <laughs> I'm Karen Dale, the founder and CEO of Chords of Courage and the director of Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest. I can't tell you how ecstatic I am to be here with all of you. This is our sixth year of the contest, our fourth year here. And now I feel like I know many of you. I feel such a strong part of the Frederick County community, even though I don't live here. I work here, and I'm so proud to be part of Frederick County. You guys rock. You're awesome. Woo! We are back again in person for the second year, which is great. And we are doing some live streaming. So if everyone could take a moment, just turn around and wave to the people who are from places other than Frederick County, who couldn't be here in person, but wanted to be here and share the joy with our student songwriters. So welcome everyone near and far. In a world filled with fear and confusion, these students have written compelling songs of triumph over adversity. We are gathered together this evening to celebrate the creativity, talent, and courage of these students. They've written about things meaningful to them, sometimes out of their own extremely difficult experiences. They've written about people whose stories inspire them, who've overcome adversity and stepped up to make a difference in the lives of others. This evening, we are going to hear some of these students' songs. It's their telling of these amazing stories. You will see what inspirations our students are. Mm. A little bit about the contest for those who may not know. We encourage middle and high school students in the county to write powerful songs about courageous people. People or groups who have performed acts of courage and suffered in the process, or performed acts of inspiration born of tragedy, whose actions resulted in significant positive change in the last 50 or so years. We've received some impressive songs from many Frederick County students, both middle and high school. We met new heroes. We get to be introduced to those who are with us all the time, but who are unsung. And through horrible circumstances, they stepped up and made a difference in the lives of others putting others first. These are the courageous heroes. These are the kinds of people Chords of Courage was created to recognize. Tonight, you're going to hear the songs of the student finalists presented by three amazingly talented and highly acclaimed musicians who worked with each of their student songwriters to be sure that their performances reflected the flavor, the intent of those songwriters. Let me tell you, we have one heck of an evening in store. During each of the contest's six years, of course we lost a little time with COVID as so many did, and first I wanna thank all of you because without all of you, we wouldn't have been able to come back after COVID. It's been difficult for everyone and every organization. We're here because of you and on behalf of all of us in Step Up Frederick and Chords of Courage, thank you. I talked about Step Up, right? We're stepping up to make a difference. Some of these students were so inspired by their courageous song subjects. They had to research them, they had to learn about them in order to write a winning song. 
that they were inspired to step up and make a difference in the lives of others in the spirit of their courageous song subjects. And you're going to hear about some of them this evening, and you learned about some of them at the tables outside in the lobby. These kids are doing amazing things, and we couldn't be prouder. We are thrilled to return to Frederick Community College, and it's due to Deborah Powell. Deborah is the Executive Director, Office of Institutional Advancement of the Frederick Community College Foundation. She has co-sponsored this for the fourth time, of course, two years during COVID, all of our in-person events. Soon you will hear about some amazing prizes offered by this college because she and Dr. Gersten, where are you, Dr. Gersten? There you are, <laughs> thank you, okay made them possible. And while De Deb can't be here with us this evening, she is well represented by Dr. Michael Gersten, whom you will hear more from in a little while. Thank you. Andrew McKnight, where are you? Please stand. We make every effort to set our students up for success. And to that end, we've offered four free three-hour workshops, songwriting workshops, led by award-winning singer-songwriter who for the sixth year, six is our magic number this year, shared his talents with the students who attended. Thank you, Andrew. And these workshops took place at the YMCA, who so generously gave us the space, along with the summer memberships for many of our winners, and the Y Arts recording studio for our two first place winners, one middle school, one high school. While YMCA's Chris Colville, Chief Executive Officer, who has been with us every year, and Anthony Brock, Director of Arts and Humanities, while both of them could not be here with us this evening, they are well represented by dedicated staff. Please stand, Robin Smith, Caitlin Fletcher, and Brandon Barnes. You're amazing. Some of the students this evening, who are with us this evening, and others who may not have made it to this level, told us that they learned about the songwriting contest through the Y. You make a difference. Thank you, Kimberly Hirschman of Frederick County Public Schools for your continued support and for letting students and teachers know and spread the word. Thank you for renowned musician, Rob Hinkle for being our sound and live stream engineer for this evening. You may not hear him tonight, but definitely check out Illy Amy and other things that Rob Hinkle does. He is a phenomenal musician. Thanks, Rob. I don't know where you are right now, but he's busy turning knobs and doing things. I have no idea what they are. Thanks to Johanna Ochoa our community ambassador and outreach specialist. She's behind the scenes right now getting everything ready, but Johanna, we thank you so much. Ron Goad, please stand. We wanna thank you for sharing your observations about these songs, which are included in the prize package. Thanks for your support, Ron. This evening's winners learned about Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest in so many ways. Certainly posters in the schools, chorus teachers, PE teachers, music teachers, friends, Frederick Acoustic Music Enterprise. Some have participated in the past. Some heard about us from show choir, ECLN's swag, the YMCA. The word is out, and so what we're asking you to do is keep spreading the word. The more students who participate, the more amazing for all of us. You know, I founded Chords of Courage, and I can't believe I'm saying this, 12 years ago, <laughs> to make a difference in the world through music, songwriting, creativity, collaboration, inspiration, all for hope for the future. I started it at a time when I thought the world was a difficult place. I had no idea 12 years later we would be in an even more difficult place. 
We need programs like this, and there are others. There are many programs out there. We need them. Our kids need them. Support them in any way you can, and we thank you for that support. Taking this journey with me is an incredibly accomplished and committed board of directors, whom I can't thank enough for their support, guidance, and wisdom. Wherever you are, as we have one who's watching us on, uh, who's far out of town and watching us on live stream, Cheryl Cooper, Steve Zelesnik, Cheryl Keeney, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The Osherman Family Foundation has been a stalwart supporter since the contest began. We're incredibly grateful for your continued guidance and financial support. A special thank you to Lee Adams and Lori Perkins. Representing the Osherman Family Foundation this evening is Faith May Kaiser. Faith, where are you? Stand, stand, there you are. Please stand. She is their college student trustee. We also want to welcome back Joshua Pedersen, an Osherman Family Foundation board member who just can't seem to get enough of us. Where are you, Joshua? <laughs> We're so happy you're here. Thank you, thank you. So here we are this evening. Creative students, powerful, powerful songs, great performers, and I think you'll agree with me by the end of the show. Fabulous audience, what do you think? So far so great? All right then. Meaningful acts of stepping up to make a difference in the world around us, none of which would happen without two very important people. Hmm. With the greatest of heartfelt thanks for your dedication to Step Up Frederick, for sharing your many talents with us, and for your steadfast friendship, I want to thank our music director, Tommy Wright, who would have been here with us in person, short of illness. Tommy, Mariana, we wish you a speedy recovery, and we thank you for everything that you do, Tommy, for Step Up Frederick and the Frederick County community. Sometimes it just takes one person to say yes. Before we started, I was talking with the students, our finalists and our, our, our winners of all, all levels. I said, you know, some people can decorate their bathrooms, their bedrooms, with all the rejection letters they get. And that's rejection from trying authors, submitting manuscripts, composers, submitting compositions, songwriters, submitting amazing songs, but oh well. And that's true for nonprofits who apply for grants. We need funding to stay alive. And sometimes we can wallpaper with our rejections. It takes just the first, the very first one. And it is my greatest joy and with depth of appreciation that I introduce to you the woman who so loved the idea of bringing a songwriting contest for teens to Frederick County that featured people of great courage, that inspired youth to step up and make a difference in the community that spoke to her. A person for whom music and youth and stepping up makes a difference because she does it herself. Marlene Young, the president of Delaplane Foundation, thank you for your continued support, your guidance, your vision. You are indeed and will always be the godmother of Step Up Frederick, and I thank you from the top and bottom of my heart. Please welcome Marlene Young. Well, good evening, everyone. 
Who is pumped for an amazing awards concert tonight? Yes. I am both humbled and grateful to Karen for her very gracious comments. Um, I can tell you that the work that I am privileged to do as president of Delaplane Foundation is not work. It is a calling. It is a joy. It is, in many regards, a labor of love. And close to the top is this organization for me. Um, Delaplane Foundation has proudly supported this outstanding program since Karen Dale showed up in my office in the year 2015 with that ever-present gleam in her eye and shared with me her vision. And I want to thank and applaud Karen for her truly powerful vision in launching this youth-empowering community service program as Chords of Courage puts names, faces, and stories to the courageous among us and uses music as a catalyst for bringing about positive social change. I want to also thank my colleagues in the funding community for stepping up to join us in this wonderful mission, making sure that every student has the opportunity to express themselves through songwriting. The Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest aligns with Delaplane Foundation's support of the arts, education, and community enrichment as we've witnessed year after year how this unique opportunity allows middle and high school students to explore creativity, self-expression, and let their voices and community service wings soar. We love the inclusivity of this event. Regardless of a student's academic success or their socioeconomical, racial, cultural, or national background, every Frederick County middle and high school student, whether in public school, or private school, home school, is eligible and encouraged to participate. It is, my friends, a well-known fact that the arts prepare students for success in education, in the workplace, and in life by helping develop a sense of identity, self-expression, and critical thinking skills while discovering one's own voice and growing in confidence by making a meaningful impact through song. Delaplane Foundation applauds how creating socially conscious songs with students of today helps to create socially conscious citizens for tomorrow, providing yet again proof that there is power in one song to truly make a difference. I join you in being excited for this wonderful display of the amazing talents of our students, and I will always sing the praises of Step Up Frederick County Student Songwriting Contest. Thank you. We're gonna be taking a few photos tonight, just saying. So you should all be smiling all the time because you never know when your photo is being taken. Marlene, wow. I think you've basically said what was in my heart. Um, so folks, when you have an opportunity, when you see any of these, these organizations, people from these organizations, please say thanks. Something I want to mention to you, this is off script, and I, I won't be much longer. I was speaking with, I think it was Heather, whom you will be hearing from in just a few minutes, about Frederick County. We were just backstage getting ready. I said to her, one of the things that I really like about this county is the collegiality. Yeah, all of us nonprofits are looking for dollars and there's a limited place to get it from. All of us are looking to get support and make sure we can grow and stay alive. 
But just listen to the list of sponsors, of colleagues, of partners that I've shared with you today from the county because we're here to support each other. And that, friends, is one of the most amazing experiences I have had. So thank you again, Frederick County and everybody who lives here. I could not be more honored to have as our MC for the sixth, the members of six was the big number here, for the sixth Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest Awards Concert, our award-winning journalist and commentator, Derek McGinty. At the end of our inaugural event, he came right over to me and said, if you're doing this again next year, you know, count me in. And we have counted him in and on here every year since. His multi-decade career in journalism includes anchoring ABC's World News Now and World News This Morning, a correspondent on the CBS broadcast Public Eye with Bryant Gumbel, and returning home to his own Washington, D.C. to become the anchor of WUSA Evening News. He hosted WUSA's Sunday morning show, Capital Download. The Derek McGinty Show received the Gold Award for public affairs programming from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the highest programming honor in public radio. Ladies, gentlemen, friends, please help me welcome the incomparable Derek McGinty. Oh man, thank you so much, Karen. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hear some songs. I am ready to hear some songs. Now, I was promised big print, but as you can see, it's, it ain't big enough. Uh, <laughs> all right, we are going to have some fun tonight, folks, and I am extremely excited to be back here for the sixth Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest Awards concert. Now, we have some very specific criteria for this. It encourages middle and high school students to write songs about folks who performed an act of courage and suffered for it, or performed an act of inspiration born of tragedy whose actions resulted in significant positive change over the last half century or so. The competition is sponsored, as we know, by the nonprofit Chords of Courage, who uses music as a catalyst for social action. They work to transform the conversation from the demoralizing and the cynical to the hopeful and the inspirational one song at a time. This evening's finalists, emerging songwriters and noteworthy recipients come from many schools. If you are an administrator, a teacher, a student, or a parent from one of these schools, please stand up and remain standing for us. Middle schools, Governor Thomas Johnson and Monocacy Valley Montessori Public Charter. High schools, Urbana, Frederick, Governor Thomas Johnson, Walkersville, Oakdale, and the Barbara Ingram School for the Arts. And if you are an administrator, teacher, or student from any other school, you stand too. We're glad you're here. We appreciate you. Let's give a loud cheer. <laughs> we took in a lot of great songs this year, and you're going to hear eight of them this evening. Enjoy the wealth of creativity. We're delighted that the first two awards will be presented by Frederick Children's Chorus own Kathy Cedor, the executive director, Carrie Silver, director of development, and founder and artistic director, Judy DuBose. This fall, the chorus will be celebrating their 40th year, so congratulations to them as well. We begin tonight with the Noteworthy Recipient Award. Now, this one's given to the entries the judges deemed worthy of some recognition. Each will receive a summer membership to the YMCA and a Step Up Frederick t-shirt. Noteworthy recipients, please come up. Nyla Rice, 10th grader at Oakdale High for her song, Take Him Alive, about Tarara Burke. Adeline Rodatis and Mara Brown, homeschoolers, their song, First of an Army, about Malala Yousafzai. And Brianna Bray, 10th grader at Walkersville High for her song, Flight of Resilience, about Dee Dee Mirabal. Congratulations, Brianna, Nyla, Adeline, and Mara.
Great job, young people. Turns out all of the emerging songwriter winners are from Frederick High School. We are thrilled to have Frederick High School principal, Dr. David Francesina, with us this evening. Please forgive me if I mispronounced your name. Please join us on stage. Karen Dale, director of Step Up Frederick, will present Principal Francis Shana with a check for $500 for Frederick High School. It's a bit of a thank you for sharing Step Up Frederick with your students. At least three students submitted eligible songs to the 2024 Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest, and we are supremely grateful for that. Now, our judges have determined that the following students deserve recognition with the Emerging Songwriter Award. Each will receive a $25 YMCA, I'm sorry, $25, $25 period, a YMCA summer membership, a trophy, and a step up t shirt. The names are Castle Smith, 11th grader, for her song Shots Fired about Wesley Hamilton, Mallory Leenbergen, 12th grader, for her song. What Could Have Been, about the triplets, David, Eddie, and Robert, and Ruby Waldo, a 10th grader, for her song, Ride High, about the astronaut, Sally Ride. Congratulations, Ruby, Mallory, Castle, Principal Francis China, and Frederick High School. And thank you, Frederick Children's Chorus. We are unbelievably fortunate tonight to have three acclaimed musicians performing the songs of the student finalists. Each has received input from their student songwriters as they prepared their performances of the students' songs. Heather Aubrey Lloyd, in addition to being an amazing award-winning musician, has graced Step Up Frederick with her talents for many years now. You may know her from the band Illy Amy. They've performed for us the last couple of years. Heather has been a Falcon Ridge Folk Festival Most Wanted Artist, National Women's Music Festival Emerging Artist, No Depression Fresh, Fresh Grass Finalist, and Top Four Telluride Troubadour. She is also the 2019 Grand Prize winner of the prestigious Bernard Ebb Songwriting Award. Mike Ryan, born and raised in rural Oklahoma, has won a host of prominent songwriting awards, including being twice named the grand prize winner in the prestigious Mid-Atlantic Song, Mid Song Contest. He is a three-time finalist in the Kerrville Folk Festival New Folk Competition and a silver medalist in American Songwriter Magazine's Lyrics Contest. In 2023, he was named Lyricist of the Year by a UK music industry judges panel. In addition, Mike's a former Army paratrooper and a veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan. So, we thank you for your service, Mike. Kobe Siegel is a dedicated student at the Peabody Institute of Johns Hopkins University. He's studying jazz guitar there. He's a three-time recipient of the Chuck and Marge Levin Endowed Scholarship. And last year, he was featured in Peabody's Jazz Composers Forum, where he showcased his original music alongside virtuoso Warren Wolf. Outside of school, Kobe's a soldier in the Maryland Army National Guard, and he currently serves in the 229th Army Band. So thank you for your service, Kobe. You can find out more information on all of our musicians in the program. And for those online, check out their websites in the chat box. We are in for a, a treat tonight. So let's begin with our middle school finalists. Our first finalist is Roman Jackson. His song is called Indomitable, inspired by a man named Raymond Demadian. Now, Raymond was inspired by the perseverance and work ethic of his father, who was driven from his home during the Armenian Genocide. He traveled 40 days with a donkey and a cart through the desert to Damascus, 
Where, and after that, he finally made his way to this country. As a 10-year-old boy, Raymond Damadian witnessed his grandmother suffer the ravages of breast cancer, and her tragic death left an emotional scar and fueled his quest to find a cure for cancer. After medical school, he spent eight years building the first ever magnetic resonance image, or MRI, scanner. In 1974, he named his invention Indomitable, reflecting the determination required to overcome numerous roadblocks such as the difficulty of getting funding, critics calling human body scanning visionary nonsense, and billion-dollar companies trying to steal his patent. Unlike CT scans and x-rays, an MRI scanner produces no radiation, and the images are superior. Around 60 million such scans are performed every year to detect diseases like brain injuries, strokes, dementia, and infections, and of course, cancer. Here is Roman Jackson's Indomitable, performed by Mike Ryan. Well, howdy, everybody. Thanks so much for coming out tonight, supporting the student songwriters. I'm Mike P. Ryan. And it's uh, my pleasure and my honor tonight to do Indomitable by Roman Jackson. He's on the way. Roman Jackson, everyone.
Great job, great job. Let me ask you, most of us know about an MRI machine, but we've never heard of the person who invented it. How did you hear about this guy? So, um, Dr. Raymond Demadian, when I was um, seven years old, I had um, an infection, a brain infection, which required three brain surgeries. And um, I had to have six MRI scans, which um, helped to save my life. And um, I know about Dr. Raymond Demadian because um, he was one of the main contributors of the MRI. Um, which saved my life. And so I decided to write a song about him. And he um, had his own experiences because his grandmother had suffered from the ravages of cancer. And so then, and so then he built a machine, the MRI, to help detect cancer. And um, he did. His, the name of his machine was called Indomitable. And that's also the name of my song. Thank you, Roman. Appreciate you, man. Just one more thing. Raymond Demadian died just a couple of years ago. And what was very interesting about him is that his whole company missed him from the receptionist who answered the phone when I called to his son, who asked me to thank you for writing a song about his father. Congratulations. Our next middle school finalist is Millie Johnson. She's a seventh grader at Governor Thomas Johnson. For, the song is called Flame in the Darkest Night, and it was inspired by, now this is a name I'm not sure how to pronounce, Pat Cuddles? Yeah, Pat Cuddles, who was driven by tragedy to help in Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Her relentless efforts helped reverse the military's Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy a decade after her son was beaten to death by a fellow soldier who presumed he was gay. Millie has chosen to step up and make a difference in her community by meeting with elementary school students to talk about the meaningful work of Pat Cuddles. Here is Millie Johnson's song, Flame in the Darkest Night, performed by Heather Aubrey Lord, Lloyd. Heather. Thanks, everybody. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Coffee spilled across a colorful morning Telephone ringing, no birds left singing It was no parent's prayer, a closing to the light Your son cracked like an egg, but you gotta fight And hold your head up high, cause it's always a dawn to the night You gotta fight when no one will You gotta fight for right and not for fame Light the torch and hold the flame You gotta find the light Find the light and feel the flame Light it through the darkest night The dawn will always come And heroes shine for everyone For everyone Broken glass downtown Screaming all across the crowd Marching feet across the ground Rainbow signs full of pride It's the march for queer rights Your voice will be heard Keep the fight Till the papers are signed You gotta fight when no one will You gotta 
gotta fight for rights and not for fame. Light the torch and hold the flame. You gotta find the light. Light the torch and hold the flame. Light it through the darkest night. The dawn will always come, and heroes shine for everyone. And she fought Even through the night With no light You lit the torch You held the flame You fought for right the light in the darkest night you're the dawn to the night you're the hero shining bright no coffee spill in a starry night sky No telephone ringing The birds keep singing You're the hero shining bright You're the flame To the darkest night Come on up, Millie. <laughs> Millie's shy. You all right? Okay. So this is your second time around for this. What brought you back? Um, I kind of just wanted to do it again this year because I really liked it last year, and I, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Millie Johnson, congratulations, and thank you. <laughs> Our last middle school final. Our final middle school finalist is Lainey Remsberg a seventh grader at Monocacy Valley Montessori Public Charter School. The song is called Hate Won't Win. It is about Alana Simmons, who says her faith helped her get through one of the darkest moments in her life, and in fact, one of the darkest moments in this country's existence, shined a light on the evils of racism and the power of forgiveness. On a summer evening in 2015, a white man walked into Charleston, South Carolina's Emanuel AME Church. He sat through the, week, the weekly uh, Bible study meeting and then opened fire on the members, killing nine, including Alana's grandfather. At the murderer's trial, another victim's relative inspired forgiveness in Alana. She said, God put these words on her heart, and I quote, although my grandfather and the other victims died at the hands of hate, this is proof, everyone's plea for your soul is proof that they lived in love and their legacies will live in love. So hate won't win. And I just want to thank the court for making sure that hate doesn't win. End of quote. Alana started the movement, hashtag hate won't win. Here's Laney's song called Hate Won't Win, performed by Kobe Siegel. walking I saw a church it got me thinking about her went in with two and she came out alone all I thought 
thought about was how she cried that night, teardrops in her eyes. She never thought this could happen to her. She said, I came out alone. The doors open, yeah, they open wide. Didn't know they let hate inside. Forgiveness cannot hide when love walks through. She did something no one thought she would. Forgave the hate, forgave the people. Even though the doors open wide and had a fear in her eyes, she stood strong, yeah, she stood strong with her head held high and eyes up to the sky. She knew that hate wouldn't win this, no, hate wouldn't win this time. She loved someone who hurt her She found forgiveness in unbearable pain Can I do the same? My doors are open, why will they let hate inside? If so, I know what to do because of her have my head held high and eyes up to the sky she knew that hate wouldn't win this no hate wouldn't win this time she showed us courage yeah she showed us pain but she overcame the doors that let hate inside, hate inside, hate inside. She knew that hate wouldn't win this, no, hate wouldn't win this time. Fantastic song, Laney. Where are you? Come on up. Hi. <laughs> A beautiful song. I'm wondering if it was personal for you. What was it about that story that spoke to you? Um, so... As you guys um, know, forgiveness is a really hard thing to do, whether it's someone calling you a name, whether it's someone who's done something really bad to you. She decided to um, forgive someone who had murdered someone who was really important to you. Um, I could relate to it because I'm personally adopted, and I chose to forgive my parents, the judges, the people who were around me who made me feel so close who made me feel so encaptured inside. She felt so alone in that situation that she knew that forgiving them would um, just help them, help that person just like, um, sorry. Um, okay, it would just time. be, it would help them feel better. Just forgiving someone, just that little thing can help. Forgiving my parents helped me grow so much that I am here today, standing here. I have my biological mom in the corner over there, and I have my adoptive mom right there. And they've walked me through this so much to help me get here and supported me to this songwriting contest. It just helped me relate to it because forgiveness is a really, really big thing. It is big indeed. Thank you, Lainey. Very impressive young woman. Thank you, Lainey. We're going to find out a little bit more now about our judging process, and I'm honored to introduce Dr. Michael Gersten, Program Manager of Frederick Community College's Music Department and head of the George Shields Music Program, which distributes the scholarships 
that our students will receive this evening. Dr. Gersten. All right, uh, thank you, uh, Derek and Karen. I'm going to move this down because I'm significantly shorter. I'm delighted to see how Chords of Courage's Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest has grown in our county. Uh, Frederick Community College is proud to be a strong supporter of this creative and inspirational songwriting contest for middle and high school students. In an effort to keep things fair and unbiased, only the songwriting elements of the songs are considered when determining the winners. Uh, every songwriting entry is reviewed and judged on the songwriting merits alone. Vocal, musical, and production qualities are not taken into consideration. Uh, students don't have to play an instrument or be able to sing in order to enter a song. Uh, Step Up Frederick looks for great songwriters and not necessarily great um, uh, singers or producers. These awards were made solely on the songwriting ability, how the lyrics and music go together, creativity, uh, originality, level of inspiration, and overall likability. Uh, let me tell you about this year's judges. John Durant is from Braddock Heights, right here in Frederick County. Known as the Troubadour, over the past 25 years, John has been performing in the mid-Atlantic states as a strolling singer, balladeer, and storyteller at festivals such as the Virginia's Great Waterford Fair and the Maryland Renaissance Festival. For over seven years in the during the 1990s, John was the host of an award-winning regional cable television series for children called The Troubadour winning both an Addy Award and the Children's Empowerment Award. Sc yeah. Scott Barrett has been performing music for over 35 years. He's particularly grateful for his many music opportunities, including fame's Four Strong Winds, a celebration of contemporary can Canadian music, the 50-year celebration of the Beatles' Yellow Submarine and Abbey Road, and the Holiday Show, all at the Performing Arts Factory here in Frederick. In addition, oh, yeah, so a uh, round of applause for Scott. Uh, finally, in addition to being president of the Delaplaine Foundation, Vice President of Great Southern Enterprises and Godmother of Step Up Frederick's Student Songwriting Contest, Marlene Young is a fine and generous musician in her own right. At the end of 2019, Marlene selected United Way of Frederick County to receive 100% of the proceeds from her personal holiday music CD collection sales, which came to almost $2,000. So will John, Scott, Marlene, please stand? So many thanks to these three talented musicians who stepped up to make a difference by agreeing to judge the 2024 Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest. And now back to Derek. Thank you, Dr. Gersten. And thank you, uh, Frederick Community College. Now, let's get to the high school finalists. As it turns out, three of this evening's five high school finalists attend Urbana High. And we are thrilled to have our Urbana High School principal, Donna Claybaugh, here with us this evening. Please join us on stage. Now, Karen Dale, director of Step Up Frederick, will present Principal Claybaugh with a check for $500 for Urbana High School because at least three students submitted eligible songs to this year's Step Up Frederick Student Songwriting Contest. It's a bit of a thank you for sharing Step Up Frederick with your students. So congratulations to Urbana High. Woo! 
Our first high school finalist is Ryan Franco, a ninth grader at Barbara Ingram School for the Arts, for his song, Keep On Walking Strong, inspired by Maria Gabriella Gabby Pacheco. In 2010, alongside three undocumented students, Gabby led the Trail of Dreams. It's a remarkable four-month walk from Miami to DC. Two years later, she spearheaded efforts to establish the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, program. Pacheco made history as the first undocumented Latina to testify before Congress on April 22, 2013, addressing the Senate Judiciary Committee and highlighting the urgent need for immigration reform. Being undocumented herself, she took a great risk to step up. Ryan has chosen to step up and make a difference by doing a collection drive for the Frederick Literacy Council. Here's Ryan's song, Keep On Walking Strong, performed by Mike Ryan. So thanks again, and Ryan, thank you for this uh, wonderful song. shadows on a world of fear and hate to move on till the moonlight the shining silver rays the beating heart of hope is keeping you alive as you move on together keep your heads high the golden door of freedom is just within your grasp by the harshness of the rain and the darkness of the past and the light can outshine darkness only you can walk on past so keep on moving strong for a brighter day not alone being carried on with the others who can dream walked on down that lonesome road with many others who have followed you and the beating heart of So I gotta ask you, you participated uh, in Step Up Frederick last year as well, right? Yes, that's correct. Now, what would you say to your fellow students who might be thinking about it, but they're a little nervous? Step Up Frederick is a great songwriting contest. It gives you so many different resources and tools to help you become a better songwriter. Um, just between the past two years that I've been doing this competition, I've grown so much, I've been, been able to write better songs, songs that I like more. And it, it's just such a wonderful, amazing tool that's basically free for anyone who wants it. I, I would recommend this anyone who wants to do this. 
Um, don't be scared. Um, it's an incredible atmosphere, and it's just a really great competition and organization. All right, fantastic. And I'm loving the St. Patty's Day jacket, by the way. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Our next high school finalist is Gabriela Pabon. She is an 11th grader at Urbana. The song is called The Ladder, and it's inspired by Del Martin and Phyllis Lyon, who became a couple in the early 1950s. They co-founded the Daughters of Bilitis in San Francisco, becoming the first social and political organization for lesbians in the United States. They acted as president, and until 1963, successively as editor of The Ladder magazine, which they also founded. They were married in February of 2004 in the first same-sex wedding to take place in San Francisco after Mayor Gavin Newsom ordered the city clerk to begin providing marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Thing is, that marriage was voided by the California Supreme Court just five months later. After the California Supreme Court's 2008 decision, though, to legalize same-sex marriage, the couple married again on June 16, 2008, making theirs the first same-sex marriage in San Francisco. Gabriella has chosen to step up and make a difference by organizing the GSAs of Frederick County for an LGBTQ plus history celebration and fundraiser. Here's her song, The Ladder, performed by Heather Aubrey Lloyd. Do up, do up, do up, do up, do up, do up. Do I, do I dance for hours in the dark? Kissed my girlfriend in a car, and on the street I hold her hand. Because of you, we can dance. It wasn't always like this. Make you proud, you who kept marching when love was not allowed. The ladder crosses time to me and mine, to me and mine. You didn't want to hide, you called up your friend. 1955, jailed if you danced. Staying up all night with gals on Castro Street. Setting in motion the struggle to be free. I hope we make you proud, you who kept marching. When love was not allowed, the ladder crosses time. To me and mine, to me and mine. <laughs> They're still trying to take our rights, but I hold my head high. You married her once, you married her twice. She was always your wife. White house lit up in a rainbow light. I know we'll make you proud. We will keep marching. When love is not allowed, the ladder crosses time. To me and mine, do up, do up, do up. To me and mine, do up, do up, do Impressive, great work! Congratulations, Gabrielle. I'm curious. You 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 uh, participated in the Step Up Frederick songwriting workshops, and I wonder if that helped you put together such a nice song. It was just an incredible experience because writing this song was unlike anything I've ever written before. I've been songwriting since 2020 for cello and voice. 
uh, but I've never actually written about history or written about other people. And so getting to learn from Andrew and from all of the talented people in the workshops and to be able to bounce my ideas off of my peers was just so exciting. And it taught me a sort of new level of collaborative songwriting and critique that I had never experienced before. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's interested in the process. Fantastic. Thank you, Gabriella. Great job. Our third high school finalist, and this name, forgive me if I don't quite get it right, it's Onyekachi Obodozi, is a ninth grader at Governor Thomas Johnson for The River Runs Free. It's a song inspired by Simon Deng, a Sudanese-American human rights activist living here in this country. A native of the Shilluk Kingdom in southern Sudan, Deng spent several years as a domestic slave Deng says in his account of his capture and subsequent abduction, quote, I was a slave. When I was nine years old, my village was raided by Arab troops in the pay of Khartoum. As we ran into the bush to escape, I watched as childhood friends were shot dead, and the old and the weak who were unable to run were burned alive in their huts. I was abducted and given to an Arab family as a gift, end of quote. During his time as a slave, Deng was put through inhumane acts. He remembers being punished for not responding loudly enough, beaten by other groups of children, and having nothing but, quote, patience and my faith as friends. He was forced to say yes to everything, including tortures, and remembers many times when, quote, the only thing I could ask for was mercy, and mercy was not always there. Here's Onyeka's song, The River Runs Free, performed by Mike Ryan. Right. 
Hello there. Hi, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Great song, by the way. Thank you. Thanks for writing it. What inspired you about Simon Dang's story and made you want to create this song? I think it was mostly the fact that through all the hardship and tragedy that he endured, he still had faith, which in a time where in our country and outside of our country, we face a lot of hate, a lot of violence, it is important to embody. So yeah, his story really inspired me because of his unwavering faith. Great job, Onyeka, thank you. <laughs> Our next high school finalist is Abhiram Tamana, a ninth grader at Urbana. The song is called Angel in Disguise and it's inspired by Caitlin Roy DeBellis. Now, she is a first grade teacher at Sandy Hook Elementary who saved her entire class of 15, six and seven year olds from the tragic events that took place December 14th, 2012. She pulled those children into a single occupancy bathroom within her classroom, mere feet away from the brutal and indiscriminate massacre taking place outside the door. Since then, despite the unimaginably painful experiences she endured, she has chosen to share those experiences with others in the hope that they too can find light in dark moments. She's the founder and executive director of the nonprofit Classes for Classes that uses social networking as a tool for every student in this country to learn compassion, caring, kindness, empathy, and consideration all through active engagement. It helps kids understand how to treat each other nicely to prevent isolation. For Abhi's step up activity, he has chosen to do a classes for classes workshop at his sister's elementary school. And here's his song, Angel in Disguise, performed by Heather Aubrey Lloyd. Blue sky, Friday. You can picture it like it was yesterday Heartbreak and sirens You relive it all in your head You were sitting in the classroom Reading to a crowd full of kids When you saw their smiles Fade away like sidewalk chalk on a rainy day Gunshots echoed in the hallways Bullets shattered glass panes Broke the haunting silence Monsters under all of their beds were now just a step away. Like a starlit angel in disguise, a savior guarding those children's lives. You held out hope when hope wasn't inside. It's all like a candle in the darkest night. You stayed strong instead of saying goodbye and held their hands with tears in your eyes. Oh. Your heartbeat was up like a riptide Nowhere but the bathroom was the only place to hide No second thought, you pulled over a bookshelf To cover the door from side Ripped your heart into a student sitting on the floor Looked up at you and asked, Miss Royd, will I make it home? As you looked into their eyes saying, baby, I don't know Like a starlit angel in disguise A savior guarding those children's lives You held out hope when hope wasn't inside Oh, like a candle in the dark 
stay strong instead of saying goodbye and held their hands with tears in your eyes. And those kids you saved ten years ago all grown up now came back to let you know that you miss Roick with their superhero Like a lifeboat saving souls at sea You were a second chance for those kids to see That love can heal the greatest of things Oh, that love can heal greatest of things Oh, that love can heal the greatest of things Oh, oh, oh like a starlit angel in disguise A savior God in those children's lives You held out hope when hope wasn't inside Oh, like a candle in the darkest night you stayed strong instead of saying goodbye And held their hands with tears in your eyes Oh, oh, oh. Blue sky, Friday You can picture it like it was yesterday That was powerful, amazing work. Happy, are you coming down? Come on down, young man. Wow. That's fantastic. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. We want to get you in the light here. Um, you were a finalist last year, too. Yes. So how hard was it to try to top that? Uh, sometimes it kind of felt like I could never top something like that that I sang last year. But I felt like if you forget about what you wrote last time and think about the courage and the determination that that teacher went through, I feel like when I heard her story, I wanted to write her story. I felt like it was something that you could capture, something that should always be written down in history. And so, especially when you hear the story, I feel like you forget about the past and you think about, wow, that's amazing. You crushed it, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you crushed it. <laughs> Our last high school finalist is Mridula Vasudevan a ninth grader at Urbana for A Champion's Dream, which was inspired by the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Mila wrote, quote, as a martial artist, I considered Muhammad Ali a role model, not only for his strength and accuracy through his boxing technique, but through his words as well. He fearlessly advocated for racial justice and equality and supported the civil rights movement. He made sure to speak out against discrimination and oppression and used his fame and influence to raise awareness for important causes. His actions inspired millions around the world to stand up against injustice and to fight for what they believe in. He made an impact through his charitable acts and the establishment of the Muhammad Ali Foundation, through which Muhammad Ali worked tirelessly to provide aid to communities in need, promote education, and raise awareness of important issues." End of quote. Mila has chosen to step up and make a difference by raising funds for the UNICEF malnutrition program. Hopefully, you saw her table out there in the lobby. Maybe you can stop by on your way out. Here's Mila's song, A Champion's Dream, performed by Kobe Siegel. In the ring of 
fire, a legend steps in, heart ablaze, a story begins. A fighter, a poet, standing real tall, with love for the people, the greatest of all. He faced the world, not seeking any fame, from Louisville streets to global acclaim. With fists of justice, a voice in his head, he spoke for the silence and had love to spread. And he said, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. We need to stand together, hand in hand, you and me. Through trials and struggles, he found his hopes. He fought for injustice and all that he swore in the ring of dreams, where he danced so free to help save the world, a champion's dream. Muhammad Ali, a name that echoes the sky, a symbol of faith with wings that fly. Every jab and every rhyme, he taught the world how to stand so high. A rumble in the jungle, an historic bout. He showed the world what it's all about. In the face of adversity, he would stand, a symbol for every woman and man. And he said, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. We need to stand together, hand in hand, you and me. Through trials and struggles, he found his hopes. He fought for injustice and all that he swore in the ring of dreams, where he danced so free to help save the world, a champion's dream. His legacy lives in hearts so wide, a champion forever in the ring of pride, as he held that torch so high, made a stand for humankind in the arena of life where challenges unfold. All of his stories forever told. We float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. We need to stand together, hand in hand, you and me. Through trials and struggles, he found his hopes. He fought for injustice and all that he swore in the ring of dreams where he danced so free. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee We need to stand together, hand in hand, you and me Through trials and struggles, he found his hopes He fought for injustice and all that he swore In the ring of dreams, where he danced so free To help save the world, a champion's dream Here she comes. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm good. Okay, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Come on over here. We want to make sure you're in the light. Um, you know, you say his story is forever told. Muhammad Ali's story pretty much happened before you were born. So I'm wondering. What drew you to him as a subject? Well, uh, as I said, I am a martial artist. So I've been doing martial arts for eight to nine years so far. So my uh, masters, the people who have taught me martial arts, compare the amount of strength, not only through technique, but like emotional, mental, and how he helped the environment. Because being a martial artist is not just through technique, punches, kicks. It's how you see the environment, your view, on the world and how, what you can do to help. That's the main point of being a martial artist. And that, Muhammad Ali has done a great job in helping the world and I'm so glad, so. All right, well congratulations on a great song. Thank you so much. Karen Dale. We're gonna let you sit down in just a sec. I'd like to present you, and this is the attire, the garb of the moment. 
with our very own Step Up Frederick 2024 Student Songwriting Contest t-shirt. Each of our winners this evening will receive one. And Derek, we wouldn't want you to go home without one. Yay! <laughs> Purple becomes you. Thank you so much. But on a more serious note, a little something from all of us to you. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you. So you. Thank you for everything you do for us. Yeah. You are just Thank you so much. It's a great honor to be here. Thank you so much. These students just bowl me over. How about you? To the teachers and principals who are joining us this evening, we know these have been particularly trying years, just a little bit. Yet you stood by your students in every way you could, and we can't thank you enough for inspiring them every day. It takes a great deal of love, passion, time, money, and commitment to support children and make these kinds of opportunities happen. To the parents and guardians of tonight's award-winning students, we send you a rousing round of applause and thank you so much for sharing your children with us. Thank you. To all the students here, keep writing, keep sharing, keep inspiring others to step up and make a difference in the world around us. We need you and we're counting on you. If you will be a middle or a high school student in Frederick County, Maryland next year, participate with us. You heard what Abby said. It was Abby, no, it was, no, 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 it was Ryan. Like, you have nothing to lose. Just Try, just try, and look how far these students have come. These weren't all, all great award-winning, uh, Academy Award, Grammy Award-winning songwriters. All of us, all of the students are just getting started. So join them and be part of that. Thank you, thank you so much. If you're from outside of Frederick County, those few who might be here in person and those certainly at home, and you're interested in bringing this amazing experience to your area, please send us a note. Just go to cordsofcourage.org, that's cords, C-H-O-R-D-S, and click contact us. For the first time anywhere, <laughs> anywhere in the world, students have written powerful songs about people of great courage and then stepped up to make a difference in the spirit of their incredibly courageous song subjects. And tonight, as Marlene mentioned, we see the power of one song to truly make a difference in our lives and the lives of all of those around us. Without further ado, the incomparable Derek McGinty. Folks, it's time for the prizes. Cords of Courage has shared this unique vision with you this evening. It's not seen anywhere else. Many of these students have stepped up to make a difference in the spirit of their own courageous song subjects. So whether you're here in person or watching live stream, we ask you to step up and make a donation to Cords of Courage so we can continue to encourage and inspire today's young people. Go to cordsofcourage.org click donate and believe me when I tell you we will be most grateful and now the award ceremony this year the judges have had added a fourth place category to present this award are Chords of Courage board members Cheryl Cooper and Steve Zelesnik the winner will receive $50 a $250 scholarship to Frederick Community College a trophy and a step up t-shirt which I modeled for you just a few minutes ago the 2024 fourth, fourth place Step Up Frederick Award goes to 
Ryan Franco for Keep On Walking Strong about Gabby Pacheco. Ryan, come on up. I'm going to take that jacket. Um, <laughs> no, it's probably too small for me. Um, congratulations, Ryan. And Cheryl and Steve, we thank you as well. This year's third place awards are being presented by the YMCA's own Robin Smith, Caitlin Fletcher, and Brandon Barnes. The third place middle school winner receives $100, a Frederick Community College scholarship covering 12 30-minute music lessons, a guitar from Hungry for Music, a YMCA summer membership, the trophy, and the Step Up t-shirt. The 2024 third place middle school Step Up Frederick Award goes to Millie Johnson for the flame in the darkest night. Millie. talking about. Congratulations, Millie. All right, this year's third place high school winner will receive $100, a $500 Frederick Community College scholarship, the summer YMCA membership, the trophy, and the Step Up t-shirt. The 2024 third place high school Step Up Frederick Award goes to Onyeka Obodozi for The River Runs Free. About Simon Deng, Onyeka. Come on up. Congratulations, Onyeka, and thank you, Anthony. This year's second place awards are being presented by the Auschermann Family Foundation, being represented this evening by Faith May Kaiser, their college student trustee, who we're told also sings. The second place middle school winner will receive $250, a Frederick Community College scholarship covering 12 30-minute music lessons, a guitar from Hungry for Music, the YMCA Summer Membership, a trophy, and the Step Up t-shirt. The 2024 second place middle school Step Up Frederick Award goes to Lainey Remsburg for Hate Won't Win. Congratulations to Lainey. Second place high school winner will receive $250, a $1,000 Frederick Community College scholarship, a guitar from Hungry for Music, the YMCA summer membership, a trophy, and the Step Up t-shirt. The 2024 second place high school Step Up award is, folks, it is a tie. Gabriella Pabon for the latter about Del Martin and Phyllis Lyon and Mila Vasu Devon for a champion's dream about Muhammad Ali. Mila, Gabriella, come on up and get your awards.
Yes, we do. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Thank you, Faith. All right, this year's first place Step Up Awards are presented by Step Up Frederick's own godmother and president of the Delaplane Foundation, Marlene Young. The first place middle school winner receives $400 studio recording time at Y Arts Recording Studio with Robin Smith, Frederick Community College scholarship covering 12 30-minute music lessons, a guitar from Hungry for Music, the YMCA summer membership, the trophy, and the ever popular Step Up t-shirt. The 2024 first place middle school Step Up award goes to Roman Jackson for Indomitable. <laughs> Roman. Congratulations, Roman. This year's first place high school winner receives $400, a $1,500 Frederick Community College scholarship, studio recording time at Y Arts Recording Studio with Robin Smith, the guitar from Hungry for Music, the YMCA summer membership, the trophy, and the Step Up t-shirt. The 2024 first place high school prize goes to Eve Haram Tamana for Angel in Disguise. Congratulations, Abby, and stay where you are because we want all the winners to come back up on stage, please. Such an incredible evening. Congratulations to all the winners. Oh, well, all, okay, well, all the evening's winners, all of the winners, come up. Everybody who got an award tonight, please come up. What an incredible night. You can see how many people were touched by your music, including the MC. Great songs, great Make a Difference projects. Come on, everybody. Thanks to all of you for joining us in person and online to cheer on these beautiful, creative, very, very intelligent students. They are inspirations. And on behalf of Cords of Courage, the contest founders, sponsors, and partners, we thank you. Be well, stay safe, and don't stop believing.
next year. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thanks everybody. Good night and congratulations.